The auditor, Mike Post, the county auditor, he's the independent auditor. He reports to a board of district court judges who reappoint him every two years, set his salary, and set his budget. He and his team published three reports over the span of less than a year. These are audits of procurement plot processes in the Flood Control District, in the Harris County Toll Road Authority, where your toll dollars go, and uh, the County Engineering Department. It involves millions and millions of dollars. There was no onboarding process to learn the standards of procurement. My colleagues walked into offices and adopted the processes that were there before them, I imagine. So I'm not trying to point the finger with what I'm going to present. But I am trying to say, if you don't change this and change it promptly, then you are part of the problem now that we know exactly what's going on. Here in Harris County, the RFP process follows all of this properly. The RFQ, which are massive projects, flood control, engineering, toll road. There is no selection committee. The county auditor, and I quote, shared with me there was, they found no evidence of any of these selection committee, evaluation forms, scores, highest score, lowest score. No conflict of interest forms. No paper trail. There is no information on how the particular vendors were selected. Nothing written down. You can't prove that something never existed that currently doesn't exist. But what we know is the county auditor, his professional team went in there and found no evidence of any of this. And all of this takes place outside of the purchasing departments. How do we solve it? The way we do it in every other county in Texas, the way that anybody who sits on a corporate board or sits on a nonprofit knows to do it is how we need to take care of it here. We need to send all of this mess to the purchasing department, the independent purchasing department, and take it out of these offices. What the auditor has exposed in these te technical documents is that there's been procurement mismanagement adding up to millions of dollars for years, for years. I'm calling for these processes to return to the purchasing director as soon as possible. I spoke with the purchasing director as early as, as, as recently as about two hours ago, okay? He was in my office and he verified he's ready to do this. This is feasible. Purchasing right now is in the middle of restructuring and this can be easily added in the short term with additional workforce of three to four FTEs. The cost around a half a million dollars, just a fraction of what it costs for each of the departments, the three departments, to have their own procurement team. And so we actually save money besides having a much better process. The purchasing agent would be able to start the process by May 7th. And I'm putting a item on commissioner's court to do exactly that, which we're drafting alongside the purchasing agent. And what I'm asking for my colleagues to answer now, not wait, I don't control the purchasing director. I don't. I have never sat in the board that oversees him. I will never sit in the board that oversees him. I've been offered, do you want to sit in it? I've said, no, I don't want to have anything to do with this. So I talked to him a couple of times. The most I've spoken with him is around this. We spoke on Friday and we spoke today. This is all part of a much larger initiative we're calling Brighter Path, which is a series of reforms that I'll continue introducing over the next several months. It started with bringing light uh, to issues such as the pay equity gap, raising concerns about the 40% raise occurring without proper oversight, making Harris County more ethical, more accountable to residents. So I'm glad to be able to shine a light on this. Um, I regret not having 
known all these details and be able, having been able to do it sooner, but there's no time to waste, there's no excuses, this is black and white.